Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Scott. I want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, Sea-Doo Watercraft. Uh, when it came to my own personal experiences, um, I started off with Sea-Doo with a 2012 Sea-Doo 155 Wake. Um, got great pleasure and enjoyment from that watercraft, and I finally decided it was time to upgrade. Um, and in doing so, I had some decisions to make. Um, I liked the horsepower of the GTX 300 Limited. The seating configuration seemed pretty comfortable. Um, the options are just, you name it, you can pretty much do it to it. Um, I do like to fish off of my jet skis. So that kind of led me a little bit to looking at the 170, um, the Fish Pro. Now, having to pre-order all this stuff, um, it was kind of, ooh, what do I get? I wanted to actually put my hands on the machines and, and see what I was getting or see what my true options were. You can look at stuff online all day, but when you actually put your hands on it, it makes, makes a huge difference. So I ended up going with the, the GTX 300 Limited. Um, my main reason for that was the 300 horsepower. I wanted to be able to get up and go and play like a jet ski is meant to do. Um, on the other hand, the 170, mm, I kind of compared that to my 155. I didn't see much horsepower difference, but it did have some options that I really wanted. And unfortunately, at the time, I was not able to get that for the, the GTX 300. So today, I want to show you a little bit. I'll show you my, my GTX 300 right now. And uh, I made a few little modifications to it, which you guys can do yourself if, if you would wish. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'll step aside here. And uh, right here is my 2022 GTX 300 Limited. Um, I'm sure you guys have, have, have seen plenty of them. Um, I know there's lots of other videos and so forth out on YouTube. And now here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more look at the jet ski at its current configuration. And coming up next, I have a surprise for you guys. Whoa, buddy, there's the surprise. Take a look at that. This GTX 300 has a fishing swivel seat. Let's go ahead and uh, take a walk around this now. It's your typical GTX 300. I've obviously added a few little decals and, and stuff to mine, but uh, yeah, it's uh, got all your options. I got the, the cup holder. The rod holder i got one on both sides um, i didn't do any um, gps or anything like that with it but i didn't need that for for what i do um, i did have i did add these on they're the little dock tie downs which i find very very useful this obviously comes with the reboarding ladder And because I'm in Alaska here, I tend to, um, I, I, I try to keep my stuff indoors. And in doing so, I just kind of came up with my own little setup down here to be able to take these off the trailers, uh, just to save myself some space and some room. And plus, if you're doing anything to it, it kind of helps just work on it is, is so much easier. Um, I did now, I did add a, a Reva catch can to this. Uh, as soon as I bought it, it was one of the first things I did was went ahead and installed that catch can on it. And in doing so, I put about 10 hours on it, uh, went ahead and changed out the, uh, the oil level or the catch can. And I got, uh, I don't know, maybe about a quarter of a cup of oil out of it. So it obviously appears to be working. All right, so I went ahead and uh, ordered some stuff off of uh, Green Holt PWC and uh, went ahead and made this little modification myself. I really wanted to be able to have a fishing seat on a 300. So look, here it is. It uh, fully functional, swivels. Now, I, I chose to go ahead and keep the uh, original seat rather than try to, I could have, uh, went ahead and bought the Fish Pro seat this back portion, which would have had the little backrest portion that you could have put on it. Um, I could have swapped out the seat, the, the front seat also. But I wanted to kind of keep it 
as, as simple as simple. Um, sitting on that is no problem. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because of it's not on the trailer and not on the water. But I do have a fully functioning swivel seat. And any of you guys, if you, something you guys would think you would like to have, can also go ahead and do that. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you here. It's the uh, same thing, just as the, uh, the Fish Pro would be. This guy go ahead and comes off. Here's your stand, which has the pads. Everything's floatable. If you drop this in the water, it will float. The seat, it has the, the base support on the bottom of it. Remove the sand. Take the seat. And it fits right back down. Now you're ready to go. We'll go ahead and just do that reverse one more time. Just go ahead and set it up. Let me show you guys this here really quick. So showing the actual machine. So kind of give you an idea of what I did here. Um, if you guys, if I get enough interest in this, I can show you actually the, the parts that I did and make another video and kind of go over this a little bit more. But um, this little here is the little water protector. That's where the uh, stand goes when, when it's in use. When not in use, go ahead and close that. That'll keep that sealed tight. Um, pop that open. Take this guy. Stick it in there. There's your base. Now, uh, what I get from a lot of people is, or different videos, is this, this stand. So it does go two ways. You can have it in this position, or you can turn it and you can put it in that position. Um, personally, I haven't tried it out yet, but as you can see, let's go ahead and put this on there. If you have it in that position, I mean, that just, I mean, it still swivels. It just seems like, I don't know, it's it's pretty close to that other portion, but depending on the weather, if it's rough out there or something, maybe for better center of gravity, that might work out better for you. Um, I just haven't had to experience that yet, so I'm not sure, but uh, I'll definitely be trying it out. All right, so there's the seat back on fishing mode. And uh, one of the things I did here, so obviously I had to buy, um, this bracket, I ended up buying a whole new, the, the piece of this off of the, uh, the 170 Pro. That way it gave me the configurations. Um, this little back piece here is really, it's all it is is just a sticker. Uh, it's 3M tape on one side. So you can go ahead and order that to match whatever you want. Um, I ordered that to keep it original and match. Um, I do have my other one, so like right here is the, the one that came with it. Um, so if I ever wanna use that, it's there, it's an option. Um, or I can just keep that. I, I don't really see myself switching back and forth. Um, this one has everything I'm gonna need to do what I wanna do. So I will probably leave it as that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, I'm gonna call this here a uh, 300 Fish Pro. All right, guys, here's one more look at the uh, 300 Fish Pro swivel seat. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. This is the first video I have made. I do intend to make more. Um, just depends on uh, my time and availability. And uh, if you guys have any comments, please comment. Uh, questions, I will respond. Um, to anything you guys ask. Um, and if everybody would like a parts list, just uh, put that in the comments too, and I can uh, direct you to the place that I got them, or maybe even help you out. So again, like and subscribe if you'd like, and uh, here is a 300 GTX Fish Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.